Hello everybody, welcome to another update. Uh, there's been a lot more rumors going around. Uh, I'm gonna take you into town here by car. <laughs> I've got my mask on. Um, I, uh, I want to start off by saying there's so much going around online. It's really hard to tell what can be believed and what can't. One of the doctors that worked on uh, SARS has made a lot of comments about uh, the sickness in Wuhan and he took off and put himself in isolation in Hong Kong and now people in China are saying, you know, that I, they're saying a lot of bad things about him online and that you can't trust him and that you should trust the government. And I would say, sure, you know, the government, they're experts but they're experts in a different field. They're experts at administration of society. And I would certainly trust them when it comes to uh, administration of society as well. I guess to an extent, I'm an American, so I never really trust my own government very much. I mean, I, come on, I'm being a little facetious, but anyway, this guy is a doctor who is an expert at, about viruses, so I tend to trust his judgment a little bit more than uh, some government official who doesn't know anything about viruses. But that being said, the government here is not really saying very much about the virus. I mean, I get little updates here and there about uh, the number of cases or suspected cases and, you know, of course, wear a mask and all that stuff. But beyond that, I, there's not really a whole lot of official information. I do know that the entire province of Hubei has been locked down. They've closed all the train stations. No one's going in or out. I don't know what they're doing about food. There is very little information coming out. Uh, I, I imagine that being there is very eerie. I imagine the streets are completely deserted. And it's probably just very scary. I have no idea how many cases there actually are there. Uh, it really feels like... I don't know, like uh, we're in a war or something and there's some rumors about an enemy army that's advancing slowly toward where we are and there's no way to get out. As I said, I do know that the closest major city has been locked down. We can't drive into it from where we are. Um, I don't think that that's been officially announced. The uh, There are some rumors going around about two cases of the virus in the little town here but I think those are just rumors I think people are scared there's a lot of things going around like I said there's so much online you just it's really hard to tell what to believe and what not I mean obviously use common sense there was something that came across on WeChat the just today about uh, the virus doesn't like uh, temperatures above 20 degrees and so keep your house above 20 degrees and my immediate thought is, well, this virus lives inside the human body. And I'm talking 20 degrees Celsius, not 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Obviously, there's a big difference there. But I'm pretty sure that your body is above 20 degrees. And it, it seems to flourish inside the human body. So that's baloney. It said it was from a doctor. You just really don't know. I mean, there's so much going around. It's hard to tell what's, what's accurate and what's not. Uh, a lot of this, I feel like, is... You know, there was almost no... In fact, there was a, a bit of a cover-up of the situation in Wuhan, and now the central government got word of it. I almost feel like this is just an overreaction locking down the whole place. It's too late to quarantine anything because, well, they let it go so long, the virus is everywhere. It's even in other countries, so... I don't know. We're not even going to know the full extent of the, the outbreak until people start really showing symptoms and apparently it takes up to two weeks for that to happen so we'll see i imagine there's going to be quite a bit more we'll hope that uh, none of us got exposed to it uh, we do know some people from wuhan they were going to come visit today as part of the new year but uh obviously that didn't happen they've all decided just to stay home instead uh, some other people did come to visit from town, some other relatives, but uh, they had no connection with anyone that would have been exposed to the virus, we hope. Of course, at this point, who knows? There's really no way of knowing who's been exposed. We could have all been exposed. They don't even know the source. They, they, I still keep seeing things online about Chinese people eating bats and all this stuff. 
And I honestly just find it so difficult to believe that it came from eating bats. I mean, sure, they had live animals and stuff at that fish market, but I just think that that's just a convenient scapegoat. Nobody knows where the virus came from. Nobody knows how this happened. It's just, I mean, right now I hope they're just focusing on trying to figure out how to stop it. And if you look out here, you'll see a bunch of smoke. You get to see some of the Chinese tradition for New Year. It's lunchtime, so everybody's lighting firecrackers. You uh, you do that before you eat a meal, apparently. I mean, that's about the extent of what I know about it. I've been here all this time. I just know when uh, when we go to eat, before we eat, they light off a bunch of firecrackers every single meal during the New Year. So, yeah, lots of fun. You can see it's snowing here. So if that rumor was true about the ridiculous 20 degrees thing, I guess the virus is very happy. It's probably flourishing out there in these cold temperatures because that's what the virus likes. I don't know, there's a bunch of contradictory things in the uh, the message too. It's like, uh, open the window, you know, and let the air, you know, air out and keep the house above 20 degrees. It's like, well, how are you supposed to do that in this kind of weather? That doesn't make any sense. But either way, there are a lot of rumors going around online, and yeah, I guess the best thing that we have to go with is what, I, I don't know, I don't want to say, you know, you can only go with what the government's saying because it's so limited, but yeah, it, it's hard to say. You can see there's still a few people out getting food. Let's see if we can see any masks. Oh, wow, there's still people without masks. Very cavalier. I guess uh, we'll hope, but maybe they've decided, you know, at this point it doesn't make any difference because if they've been exposed, they've been exposed. I don't know. Just interesting. I don't see that many people out, but that could just be because of the weather. Maybe we can check out uh, the market. I know in uh, Hubei, there's been fighting over food in the markets. We can have a look in here and see, oh, yep, here goes some more firecrackers. Somebody's getting ready to eat lunch. They go lunchtime makes me think maybe I'm in trouble maybe it's lunchtime at home and I'm out driving around but in either case I am at there's a lot of things going around online I think even in the West there's a lot of people talking about it and I think I know in other countries they're doing a lot of work to try and isolate the virus to keep it from spreading uh, hopefully I mean that's that's definitely the right move you don't want to get a bunch of people getting the virus I that's another thing that I haven't seen hardly any information about is what this virus is doing I mean how do you know if you've got the virus besides getting tested well here's something I've happened upon a funeral here and no that has nothing to do with uh, with the virus it just yep, there's more firecrackers for whatever reason, around New Year, there's a lot of, well, okay, I know why there's a lot of funerals around New Year. It's because of the cold, you know, there's a lot of old people and some of these places don't have heating in their houses, not like we have in the West. Chinese people are pretty good at that. They wear clothes, it's almost like wearing blankets. I don't know how you'd describe it. You'd have to, to see an example, but they have the heaviest blankets that I've ever, ever had use of really really heavy blankets to stay warm in the winter you can see there's people without masks I guess like I said at this point they're probably like well if I've been exposed I've been exposed or whatever I don't know what they're thinking but maybe they're just feeling like uh, they're so far removed but I've been starting to hear rumors like I said about a couple of cases of the virus here in town which if that's the case I, I don't see how that's possible that they would have I mean I'm not saying it's impossible there's cases I'm saying I don't know how they would know because this town does not have any sort of laboratory equipment to be able to detect the virus. I do know that the uh, the next town over are Fengyang. Fengyang has been designated, uh, I guess their hospital is, it's been designated to deal with the virus. So I guess it's possible that somebody went out there and got tested from the town and they are in isolation now. I don't know. I feel like I'd have heard more about it than what I did. There are rumors uh, 
and people are starting to I mean, everywhere in the country, people are just talking about this, like I said. But the information, it's so hard to know what's right and what's just total BS. But in either case, I'm we're taking precautions. We're, the, uh, the family member that was in Wuhan is staying at home and not coming to see anybody. So they're doing their part, I guess, to try and help with the virus situation. Well, let's go take a look in, in the market to see... Uh, to see if there's any food or you know like I said in uh, in Wuhan and Hubei province there are people fighting over food in the markets and let's see what the situation is here in town I don't see it being a problem because there's so much food here that they've grown I mean I, I don't think that food is going to be a, a real situation here and we're not completely locked down like they are in Hubei province I mean I'm still out driving around on the road so I can't get into the major city. I, I feel bad for them. You know, the city is always a problem. Like I say, you know, people up there in their high-rise apartments, they're not going to have like a garden or something. It's not like they're going to be raising chickens inside their their house there. <laughs> they're kind of a, the, uh, the mercy of what's available at the market. And a lot of the markets, you know, here in China... The market sellers are actually... Uh there are people from the, out here that bring their stuff into the city to sell. So since they can't get into the city with their vegetables and their, their meats and things, then I just, I think that the people in the city are probably in a, in a really bad situation. Uh, people don't, uh, it's not like you're going to have a fridge full of food. People generally go out every single day and get what they need. So I just imagine the situation in the city here is probably pretty bad. Maybe not quite yet. I mean, people will still have rice. I just don't know because there's not a lot of information. We'll hope that things are better than that. I don't know how long the food... Uh, it's at least better than any, what I've seen in Europe where the, the supermarkets only have what they have on the shelf. Here they, they'll still have a back room and have stuff stocked up. But I don't know how long that can last. I mean, Bungbu, you know, that's millions and millions of people right there. Here we are at the... Uh, the funeral again, you can see Chinese funerals are pretty elaborate things that have good food. Sort of like a celebration of the person's life. It's really interesting. You see everybody's getting ready for lunch, lighting off their firecrackers. So I should be getting pretty close to the market. I can stop bothering the people behind me. <laughs> They're like, why is this guy driving so slow? Uh, they don't really have a lot of road rage here in China. People just kind of go around you or whatever. They don't care. That's kind of nice in a way. Of course, me, I'm, I'm American, so I have road rage all the time. I get irritated with the people and yell and stuff. In my car, I don't get out of the car and yell at them. But I'm sure they're like, whoa, what's with this foreigner? Why is he shouting all around him? Anyway, here's the local market. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we can see here. So as you can see, there's plenty of stuff on the shelves. Certainly no uh, shortage of food here. Everything is pretty well stocked up. I don't think that they're going to have any problems for a while as far as uh, food and that sort of thing is concerned. Mm. Well, still plenty of food in the, in the market. Lots of uh, fruits and vegetables. Everything you can see there is just pretty well stocked up. And I know they've got more in the back, so... I didn't expect there to be any shortage of food around here. This is really like where all the food comes from. So uh, I don't think there's going to be any sort of shortage. There'll at least be rice. <laughs> That's one thing you can count on. So I don't think anybody's going to starve to death out here. If uh, people end up having to be isolated so they don't mix with the people in the city, then I think everybody will be okay. But uh, yeah, so far you can see there's a lot of rumors and different things going around online. Even rumors of uh, people getting sick here. By the way, that funeral, I, I just have to say again, it has nothing to do with the virus. This is just normal New Year type stuff. Around now it gets cold. There's a lot of old people out here and 
well that that's that unfortunately happens um, it's interesting to see how they celebrate people's lives all the family comes the neighbors everybody comes to remember them and have a good meal and here we go through a big cloud of smoke from the fireworks everybody lighting off their firecrackers for the lunchtime hopefully no trucks come flying through here up here comes a vehicle but anyway hopefully you found that informative I'll continue to update as I get information don't believe everything you hear online um, I, I don't know <laughs> I don't know what's out there but uh, hopefully hopefully things improve quickly I, unfortunately I think that uh, we're gonna see more cases of the virus and we won't know the full extent of the uh, the outbreak until later on in February and I guess we'll see what happens with it anyway thanks for watching we'll have more as things progress I'll keep you guys up to date as long as I'm able to get online it's been very difficult lately getting online oh and I want to say something someone left a comment about uh, <laughs> my car being like a right-hand drive car no that was that was just my camera um, a little setting on it uh, for some reason it was having like a mirror image instead of the actual image so I fixed it you can see it's a normal you know well normal it's a Chinese car but it's normal it's actually a Chevy but uh, yeah I'm I it's a left-hand drive just like we have in the United States oh and here's my turn so anyway like I said I'll keep you up to date uh, every day I'm gonna release a video as long as I'm able to get online it's been a little difficult again lately but I'll keep you guys up to date and hopefully soon I can go back to making my normal videos just about life here in general and <laughs> instead of life in the apocalypse uh, thanks for watching and subscribe for more and I guess we'll see you next time